In this video, we'll be finding a limit as x approaches some constant c of f of x. If possible, evaluate f of c using direct substitution. If f of c is some indeterminate form, such as division by zero, which is undefined, or infinity over infinity, etc., try to eliminate the problem algebraically or use a graph or table to estimate the limit. Now the problem that we'll be doing is to find the limit as x approaches 5 of the fraction square root of x minus square root of 5 divided by x minus 5. As you can see, if we try direct substitution, we would have 5 minus 5, which is 0. Division by 0 is undefined. So we're going to need to eliminate this problem algebraically. With this type of problem, we would want to rationalize the numerator. And we do that by multiplying the top and the bottom of the fraction by the conjugate of this binomial. The conjugate, remember, is the same terms but with the opposite operation. So since this is a subtraction, we would use addition here. So multiply top and bottom by root x plus root 5. Now don't actually multiply these out because um, what we'll see is that something is going to cancel. So I'm going to leave the denominator as the quantity x minus 5 multiplied by the quantity root x plus root 5. Now in the numerator, we'll just use FOIL. Square root of x times square root of x is x. Square root of x times square root of 5 is square root of 5x, and that's positive. And then my inner product negative square root of 5 times square root of x is a negative square root of 5x. And then my last terms multiplied together, negative root 5 times a positive root 5 is negative 5. Now, whenever you multiply conjugates, your inner terms, your two middle terms, cancel off. So these are gone, and I have x minus 5 over x minus 5 times root x plus root 5. Now our x minus 5 in the numerator will cancel with our x minus 5 factor in the denominator, and we'll have 1 over root x plus root 5. Now the limit on this as x approaches 5, we're just going to use direct substitution. So we'll have one over, and then we'll substitute in five. So we have root 5 plus root 5. Now root 5 plus root 5 is 2 root 5. And if we rationalize the denominator here, multiply top and bottom by root 5, we have root 5 divided by 2 times, and then root 5 times root 5 is just 5. This simplifies then to root 5 over 10.